Hey everybody, this is Sherry Miracle. This is part three of my mini series called Even Odds for beginning and intermediate players who want to add some interest and variety to their fills and their solo play. In part one, we talked about using groups of three over eighth notes and sixteenth notes. In part two, we talked about using groups of five, same subdivisions, eighth notes and sixteenth notes, and today we're going to talk about groupings of seven. Uh, keep in mind this works with any meter and any subdivision, but we're sticking to the tri tried and true 4-4 four, four and the very, very friendly 8th notes and 16th notes to, uh, to attempt this for a first-time person and player. So, uh, seven note groupings. You can identify these um, odd phrase groupings simply with accents, with orchestration, and with stickings. Those are the uh, three main ways I know how to achieve uh, this goal. So let's hear what seven note groupings sound like with eighth notes. I'm gonna do single strokes and just accents. All right, here we go. One. I was keeping my spot. I was trying to feel what the accent pattern was. This one's actually pretty cool because it just shifts by, shifts to the left by an eighth note each time. And um, I want to know where one is. So like with all hemiolas, this is a seven note pattern. So it takes seven measures to get back to the big one. Okay, let's hear what that sounds like in 16th notes. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. All right, so now you can do this um, orchestration part of this to make it even more clear that you're playing a seven note grouping. You can put the beginning of each note grouping on a tom-tom. This is a very simple way to do this. So like, check this out with eighth notes. One and two and three and four. really, really clear seven. Um, other fun orchestration things could be just hitting seven different parts of your drum set. This one's pretty neat. I like to do this one. You could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could do something like this. Uh, one, etc. The point is you can orchestrate any way you want in a seven note phrase. Now with stickings, what would be better than a seven stroke roll for a seven note pattern? So that we're going to play that like this. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. One, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. All right, so check that out. Uh, we'll try this in 16th notes. One, stroke roll. Seven stroke roll, a really cool orchestration that I like to do. Actually like to do this one in triplets a lot too, but as and an even note grouping, it sounds really, really neat too. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one and two and three and four and 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 one and two So anyway, seven note groupings. It's fun. It's gonna add a lot of interest and variety to your playing. And um, remember to know where one is and have a blast playing seven note phrases. Alrighty everyone, bye bye.